that is about risk evaluation. It is given that management decided not to replace the kitchen flooring based on costs. Assuming that you are teaching someone who has never seen this kind of risk matrix before. In part A of the task 2, it is given that show how the matrix can be used to confirm that the risk level was not acceptable with the existing kitchen flooring. A risk matrix is a tool used to visually represent the likelihood and severity of potential hazard. A grid with likelihood on the x-axis and severity on the y-axis. Each cell represents a different level of risk. To demonstrate the unacceptable level of risk associated with the existing kitchen flooring, the matrix could be used as follows. Number 1. To assess the likelihood of the injury occurring with the existing kitchen floor. This could be done by considering the factors such as slippery floor surface, lack of grip shoe coverings, and malfunctioning ice machine. Likelihood in this case is equal to very likely risk rating 3. To assess the severity of injury that could occur, for that, consider factors such as permanent injury, hospitalized, or death. Severity in this case is equal to major injury, risk rating 3. Number 2. Plot the likelihood and severity of the matrix as shown in the figure. The cell representing this level of risk would be in the upper right corner of the matrix, indicating a high level of risk. Risk category in above matrix. 1, 2, 2. Acceptable. 3, 2, 4. Tolerable. 6, 2, 9. Unacceptable. Level of risk is equal to likelihood multiply severity. Level of risk is equal to 3 multiply 3 is equal to 9. It is confirmed from the above risk category that the risk level with the existing kitchen flooring was not acceptable and alternate safe methods should be considered.